I firmly believe that as you get married and you've chosen a good spouse and mashallah you've made the right decisions and you've looked at the guidance from Allah and now you're married it doesn't mean you need to have children ASAP as soon as possible we're gonna have offspring if you've chosen that in an enlightened fashion Alhamdulillah and if it has happened from Allah Alhamdulillah but if you could I'd rather you actually gave it a little bit of a break to get to know one another a little bit better this advice would not have been given to you a few decades back but now it is because we are facing thousands if not millions of children of divorced couples broken homes who are struggling who've lost the path completely and it was quite simple to wait when i look at them they were normally and usually born within the first year of marriage sometimes the next why didn't you just wait a while I need to make sure that I really believe this person is deserving to be the father of my kids or the mother of my kids. It's not haram from an Islamic perspective. No, not at all. Especially when you see the result of the mistakes people are making. They have one kid, two, three, four, and after that everything is gone. What happened? You kept her pregnant. Why? For whatever reason. It's not prohibited. But why did you bring in kids when you knew there was something wrong with your relationship or you were not yet 100% certain of it? It's not wrong. You cannot speak about raising an ummah without advising couples to say, be careful, hold on, relax. Don't just be so quick 